right now, Detroit unable to establish possession in the Chicago zone, so they'll retreat back to their own line and regroup a little bit as Otieno joins the fray. Victor Otieno goes around one man, lays it up high for Ma Matos, a pass along for Costa Deku, whose long shot is wide, came out in front, and they score! That rebound came right out in front to Daniel Matos, and he buries it, fires it by, and Detroit takes a one to nothing lead here in the opening quarter. Detroit won, and Chicago no score. Seventh of the year, one to nothing, Detroit. Jerusalo across the way, number seven, wearing a green armband tonight, Detroit's leading scorer. Up inside the line for Zach Bowman, who's got Ducker going to the net, set it across, oh, he scored! Bowman out of the corner, that ball never did get through to Drew Ducker. Zach Bowman with his hand in the mouth, what did I just do? He laid it along the wall, and it may have deflected off Flores and gone into the net. Parasato. And back into Chicago territory it comes. A little bit of a miscommunication, but here's Matos stepping around him in. Matos works right in, and he scores! What a play by Daniel Martini Matos. He gets his second goal of the first quarter, his eighth of the season, and Detroit is into a three to nothing lead. This is next home game, Saturday, January 17th, when the Baltimore Blast come to town. They're a 7 and 0 this year. And earlier this year they uh, beat Detroit 26 to nothing, but that game was in Baltimore where for reasons that are not entirely clear to us, goals count for two. Lopez scores. Ricardo Lopez drills a left footer from the line on the free kick, and it's 3 to nothing. Work it through for Pollock. It's broken up and maybe a handball here on Chicago. And it was. So Fiore with 20 seconds in the quarter will hand to Jerusalem up to Cicluna. Return pass to Riesolo, and it's going to turn into a three on one back the other way as that pass was intercepted by Moriera and they score on it. A bad, bad giveaway near the Chicago line. And Chicago gets a goal with just 10 seconds left in the quarter. Occasion it worked. I don't think Sakuna hooked him particularly hard, but again, that's uh, what your coach to do. When you feel that opponent, go down. Maybe the official will call a foul. Fiore in a jam up along the end boards, and it's chipped right out in front, and they score. That loose ball just uh, came out in front for Joshua Sandoval, and uh, Halterman had no chance at all. Down to two. Here comes Chicago. Sentian at the Detroit line. Sending it back out towards the middle. And there it is played by Parasato deep into the zone. Santian trying to go around at Drew Ducker. Now Zach Bowman will move over to cover. Parasato, oh, and they score. What a great goal that was. That was just a great goal by Christian Meza, who spun away from the defender and buries it. And how about that? It's four to three. This is the first power play of the game. Detroit has a 4-3 lead over Chicago. They will put the ball in play just off to the side of the arc, well inside the top of the arc, but to the left of the goalkeeper, Jesus Flores. And this is Jerusalem. Centers it, centered across, and the shot went off the near goalpost, fired by Costa Deku. He came that close to putting Detroit back on top by two. Deku has it again for Waza. Up top, Jerusalem, a little touch pass for Lopez. Off into the corner goes Pollock. He shoots. He scores! Hat trick for Matos. Daniel Martini Matos gets the power play goal for Detroit. And it comes at 8.38. Long outlet pass at the Chicago line with the back of his left foot. Would have been a brilliant play. Here's Chicago, and there you talk about brilliant plays. How about that save right there by Tony Halterman? Chicago player was in cold, and Halterman beat him. Pollock steps around Parasato's check. Put it across, and they score! It's Zach Bowman going hard to the net, and he converts the beautiful feed, and Detroit is on top, 6-3. to three. Looks to set things up as Detroit changes. A long outlet pass finds Jokai open on the right. Jokai moves in with a shot, he scores! 
Seven to three, Detroit. They're back on top by four. In the Chicago zone, but only momentarily as Flores sends it back to the uh, Detroit line. Miguel Vaca, double team, but still got it through to Nikolai, and they send it off to the side of the net, and that's a beautiful passing play, and a goal for Chicago to make it seven to four. Most of the Detroit players calling for a foul as a result of that play. Oh, they scored. What a great shot right there by Viega, Guillermo Viega. Bad angle out of the left corner. Halter sending it across. Look out. Here's Vaca. Nice work by Vaca. And uh, he beats Halterman through the five hole, and it's a one goal game. Chipping it ahead for Jerusalem, who moves cautiously back to the Chicago line with a long shot, and he scores! Mickey Jerusalem gets his ninth of the year, a power play goal at the 56 second mark. Chicago was 0 for 1 on the power play, came right out in front, and Martinez scores. Wilo Martinez just powered that ball up onto the crossbar and a beautiful centering feed. So at 3.31, just after the power play had ended, the corner, Deku took his man down. Otiano comes in to help out in the corner. Came out in front, center and pass, and they tied up. Martinez was wide open. It's a power play goal for Chicago. They're one for two on the power play in the game. All tied up. Nine to nine. The goal coming with a minute and one to go. At 13.59. Back into the Detroit zone. Baca out of the corner, put it out in front, broken up. Santillan, he hit the inside of the goal post. Don't know, they say he scored. They say he scored. Santillan, I got to have a look. That's a goal. Doesn't matter what I think. I thought it hit the inside of the goal post to the right of Halterman, but they say it went into the net. And now Chicago leads 10 to 9 as they score just to four seconds. That can't be right. But the goal comes at 14.03. On the right side, and Costa Deku on the left. Jerusalem is going to take it himself. It's blocked by Nikolai. Went to Lopez, and he hammered it wide. One last chance. Deku couldn't get the shot on goal, and Chicago wins. And I think uh, Costa there uh, at the end, pounding it to wide of the target. And then you, you, you saw him just. Uh, throwing his hands in the air, just a, a, a gesture of, of despair and frustration and everything else. And a great game tonight, but not a great result as far as the Waza fans are concerned.